Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Neff from Neff's Tech, but today we're checking out an Acer Aspire ES15. We got Intel Celeron processor, N0350, so at least that's better than Pentium. Intel HD graphics, 4 gigabytes of memory, 500 gigabytes uh, HHD. Now, I was requested by the user to upgrade this thing uh, basically as much as I could. And the Acer, got to say, the brand, usually if I get an Acer, I have to take it back into the shop once or twice because I get a little bit of problems with it. But I have a feeling that this is probably a budget system. And uh, when it was given to me uh, to upgrade, the gentleman who, uh, the, the owner said said that I bought it, but I never used it because uh, he just, it was just too slow. He couldn't get it to work. And I know that feeling, man, when Windows 8 first came out, I'd just getting to know it. For a few months, I had just gotten to know it. And I had a horrible accident with my daughter and I had to go to the hospital and I would rather take a, a, an old Windows 7 all-in-one with me than I would this laptop because I just didn't freaking know how to use how to use it and it was relatively slow and that was also an Acer and uh, yeah so I definitely know what they meant there anyways at the back here we got uh, two USB ports wait CD drive gotta be a cd drive right my goodness that maybe that's not a cd drive it doesn't even have a button maybe it's just a port for a cd drive and over here we got uh sd one usb so that's three usb spots uh this yeah this will have to be a budget unit and then over here we have uh the ethernet hdmi and headset in. that's interesting they put the headset in at the back i've never seen headset in go to the back i wonder if this was uh, one of those systems that originally had windows 8 but i'm not seeing any notifications of it it's interesting how everything hooks up directly at the back so here within device manager we can see they definitely weren't lying they have the intel hd graphics and then they have the intel celeron uh n3050 dual core at 1.60 gigahertz of course next up we have uh pass mark benchmark 10 let's see what kind of score we can get out of this thing let's see what kind of video we can push out of this thing all right we got those jets flying by at seven frames per sec i've seen worse here we got direct x10 going at three frames per se second you know that seems pretty uh fair and reasonable considering uh intel hd graphics actually oh we were struggling to pull it off but we got direct x11 let's check out them space jellyfish shall we mm-hmm oh yeah them space jellyfish kind of glitchy we're getting about five frames per second on the space jellyfish direct x11 let's check out direct x12 can we pull it down can we pull it down it'll really bring down the test if it tries to and fails instead of just saying no i don't do direct x12 but it looks like it's trying oh yeah here we go oh it did it my goodness it did it direct x12 we got this thing up going on you got five frames per second feel the power of five frames per second folks all right that's definitely a pretty low score but not as low as i thought now the mini PCs, the cheap $200 ones you can get off Amazon, generally get a score of 250. But this actually ranks up uh, not so badly. Uh, I had a Pelco point of sale unit, i7, second generation, 2600, and it got a score of 344. An HP 6005 Pro got a score of 319, and above that a Lenovo Q80 score of 539. So, <clears throat> it could be better, could be worse. Uh, I thought that it wasn't uh, going to be quite this good. So, let's see how this thing is after we do an upgrade now. All right, so check this out. I finally got into it. Man, this is definitely one of those little Acer boards. And I get a little bit nervous when working with these things because there's never a lot of motherboard to them. And it's very easy for something to get broken. You got to be super careful with this stuff, making sure you know where everything goes and where all the screws are. And don't get angry with it and fight it or you will lose the fight with these Acer things. You know how it, when you're a tech and you have to tear things apart, you get a general idea how far you're going or if you're going a little bit too far when you're prying something you just kind of get that idea i'm telling you take that down a notch when you're working with acer stuff because it will break on you real quick but i believe i successfully managed to get the ram off of this i should have got the video before i did this but i had to take everything off flip the board put the ram in this sitting like right about over here and now i got to plug everything in again just to make sure that this system will actually take the ram i just plugged in wish me luck 
All right, so thankfully it turned on. It would actually accept the RAM. Now we only have one more issue. I got to update the hard drive. Of course, the hard drive isn't in this unit right now. It looks like we get the big old battery, um, speaker, and then where the hard drive would be, and where the CD drive would be. It didn't actually have a CD drive, just a placeholder. Over here, I got my backup set up. Going on down here, I got the system, system hard drive, swapping over to an SSD. Ladies and gentlemen, friends don't let friends get platter hard drives. Always, always, always get an SSD. All right, I got the sexy lady back together. Got the declarative LED lights going on. So you know LED always makes computers go faster. And I'm going to try another benchmark, see what the difference is compared to the last time. As I said, I have upgraded the hard disk drive to a solid state drive. And we upgraded rated the RAM from four gigabytes to eight. We got those jets going around DirectX uh, 9. You got seven frames per second. So let's face it, on an old video card, there's only so much that you can upgrade. And then you can't really go any further. It's not like you can install a GPU in these things, unfortunately. But you can upgrade the RAM to help out with the onboard uh, GPU. Here we got DirectX 10, 1.3 frames per second. Yeah, so this definitely is not a gaming laptop, that's for sure. Here we got DirectX 11 going at about, oh man, not even nine frames per second. Checking out those aliens. We actually have DirectX 12 working on this, about five frames per second. Seem better, seem worse. Interesting, I'm getting this error again because I just upgraded the memory. Well, that ain't the worst it got us 100 more points than that uh it is what it is this thing's fine for you know youtube facebook just exactly what everyone says that they want a system for just surf the internet yeah it's good for that that's the maximum upgrade and that's uh, the maximum that can be done for this thing acer aspire es15 anyways ladies and gentlemen i think i'm going to call it right there like and subscribe if you like this stuff it's always appreciated and as always folks take care of each other